Good morning, Wes here down in southern Arizona and today I am going to turn red paint black. At least that is the plan. I have kind of a replica of a membrous pot and what they did is they painted with a red iron oxide or hematite and that's what I painted this with and in the firing process it turned black and the way that happens when the red paint gets hot it turns black but as it cools down normally in a regular oxidizing fire it goes back to red again so what they did at least we think they did is they snuffed out the oxygen somehow and so as the pot cooled it did not have ac access to oxygen and it stayed black quite frankly i have had li very limited and almost no success doing this we're going to give it a go again today and see what happens so please come along so what I want to do now, I preheated the pot as much as I reasonably can. I'm putting the pot lid down on the bottom for a couple of reasons. Uh, I think it'll help keep oxygen from coming up from the bottom and also protects it from the coals. Uh, but I need to raise it up a little bit. Ultimately what I will do is then put this pot down over the top of it to snuff out the oxygen. But I'll just build the fire right over the top of that. Alright, it's now in the hands of the fire gods. Pretty well burned down now. It's all oxidized. And so it didn't get as hot as I would like it to. The very highest temperature I saw was 800. A lot of it was in the low 700s. So I'm going to clear this away. There's still a fair amount of uh, black on the bottom of the pot and fire clouds, which is not necessarily a bad thing, but ideally it is uh, pretty white. I'm going to cover this up like so. And then start sealing up the bottom. So hopefully it got hot enough and there was a enough of a reduced environment. We're cutting off the supply of oxygen and the red paint will stay black. All right, so this has been uh, cooling down for quite some time. The, this isn't even hot anymore, so we should be good. It's a big reveal to find out how things are going. What you will see here is that it is a fail. And if you look back earlier in the video, the pot fell off the little rocks and it uh, didn't get any circulation there. What ended up happening, there's a huge amount of carbon that built up. All of the really black stuff should be white. And that kind of pale red should be totally black. So it's just kind of the opposite. So it didn't get enough air circulation to burn off the oxygen. So I've decided that I'm going to refire it and see if I can get a different result. And actually it comes out uh, a little bit better. And you'll notice that I do get it raised up on rocks much better the second time. And I have a better, hotter fire as well. So you will see how all of that works here in just a moment when I do a second firing in a different location. All right, here's the plan to cook the Dickens out of that pot and see if I can burn off all the carbon. Well, I uh, I put it up on some rocks, so hopefully there's some good air circulation yeah. underneath. Yeah. And if that hematite paint <laughs> cools with oxygen, it'll turn red. It. If it cools without oxygen, it is a reduced atmosphere, and, and hopefully it stays black. But I've had zero experience or success with this. So, so one of the mainstays of pottery is hope? <laughs> yeah, luck helps, hope helps. It looks like a little 
little human being. Why Plus, you want to leave a little bit of charcoal in there because there's some carbon in the pot, right? Or some oxygen. And so that carbon and then design. Well, uh, yeah. you burn up the oxygen. It was oxygen. copied from yeah. the yeah, yeah, It copied. is very hot. Matter of fact, that's I guess I could have brought my... Um, I don't know the symbolism. Ooh. And I, you know, I'm like, oh, Clever. a whole lot of like, pagan the stuff going on there. But Pardon me? You could buy the pot just for this test. Like, uh, my brother actually gave me the pot. Brother actually gave me the pot. And it's stainless steel, not aluminum. The aluminum one might melt. Yeah, huh? it would melt. I've melted aluminum. Oh, yeah, okay. So we'll let this cool for... An hour or two. That's a lot of work. It's cool. Yeah. Yeah, and that oxidizing of iron can take place at pretty low temperatures, from my finding. You know. So, what temperature does the uh, uh, oxidization no, start or stop? Or I, mean, or I don't know when it starts. I mean, it doesn't start. Maybe it can go all the way up. You know, it's it's gonna that iron can oxidize way down to like I don't know, like 150 or 200. So, uh, so when it's oxidizing, it's picking up. Carbon yeah, so the, the iron is grabbing, the iron is grabbing oxygen out of the air. Yeah, okay. oxidizing, yeah, okay. That makes so, sense. so hopefully now, Wes has uh, got it to the point where all of the iron, uh, all the oxygen is out of the iron. Yeah, okay. But it'll start picking it up, and we and that's what he's trying to prevent. Well, let's uh, uncover this thing and see what happens. The idea, this is a uh, reduced iron paint. If it works, the paint will be black. If it doesn't work, the paint is red. And if it fails, I don't know, we get lots of blacks and reds and smoke and junk. So let's see what we get. So this is the second firing. So the bottom turned out much, much better. And I'll show you the front. Oh, that came out fantastic. That is the way it's supposed to be. Whoa. What's his name? Wait a second. What's his Let's name? I mean, a, crit, a critter paint so well like that needs a name. Yeah. Uh, this is Claymine Clay White Slip. Yeah. And uh, and then this red hematite paint. And is your paint fugitive or is it, is it fast? Did you? It's uh, somewhat fugitive. Okay. Or not just a bad. little. Just a little. Not, 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 not bad. bad. So this is the way that the uh, members did it. It's amazing. I've never had it come out like this. Wow. And your hematite was just straight hematite, nothing else mixed? No, hematite with uh, with some red clay and a little beeweed to get it to oh stick. All right, there you have it. Mimbrous style, reduced hematite paint. Starts red, turns black. I'm pleased with the way this went. And if you're happy about the video, please give me a thumbs up. Love the subscriptions. Really like the comments. Thanks for that. Until next time. This was Wes with Airstream Wanderings, wishing you health, happiness, peace, and love. Take care. Bye-bye.